recording live from Occupied Turtle Island. Test their logic. No nations. No borders. Fuck law and order. Yeah. No one is illegal, we're all people, we're all equal No borders, no fences, no nations, no prisons, no deportations In 2011, there are 34 Republican stronghold states that passed voter ID laws These are laws that require people to get government issued ID Such as driver's licenses before they can register to vote mm -hmm. um, And if... and. This is terrible because there are more than 21 million Americans who don't have government-issued ID, people who are potential voters. And if you're wondering why the GOP would pass something like that to stop people from voting, it's because the majority of those people are African American and Latino. Um, and they're passing these laws saying that they're trying to stop non-citizens from voting, undocumented people from voting, but we know that's a lie. Um, in addition to fines and imprisonment, undocumented people risk deportation if they were to try to register to vote. We know that that's not happening. And voter fraud is a myth. There is, they did a study in 2000. They found that out of 126 million registered voters, there were 10 cases of voter fraud. 10. So this is clearly an effort to stop Latinos and African Americans from voting, to stop us from being there on the, at the polls, and to not be able to register to vote. Voter suppression has been an issue here and in a number of other states where the uh, conservatives and the Republicans have tended to uh, make it difficult for minorities or people that are likely to vote Democratic not to be able to vote. So this appearance here is just lending support to that cause. Hopefully we'll get some recognition and some response from the responsible people. That's, that's one every 36 hours. One one black person every day and a half is killed. That's, that's voter suppression. I live in a county. I live in a county, that Hillsborough County, that is not number one at uh, providing affordable housing for its taxpaying citizens. Hillsborough County is not number one at providing uh, a decent education for the children of taxpaying citizens. Hillsborough County is not number one at providing gainful employment for its taxpaying citizens. Hillsborough County is the number one county in the entire world at making at adjudicating juveniles as adults in the criminal justice system. Did you hear what I said? Hillsborough County, right here where you live, where you work, where you send your children to school, is number one at adjudicating our children uh, as, as, as adults in the juvenile court system, which means that uh, if they get a felony on their record, they won't be able to vote. That's voter suppression. You understand what I'm saying? They are stealing an election, one vote at a time, and they start when you get convicted of a felony in Florida, and then you serve your time, and you ought to be out, you ought to be a rehabilitated citizen, but you're not allowed to vote. Because Florida doesn't automatically make you a full citizen after you've served your time, paid your debt to society. You come back out and you're still not a citizen, you're kind of like a denizen. You're some sort of halfway person. And you don't get to vote. And that's, that's just that's one of the thousand ways that they're killing democracy in Florida. Some of them in the party have made it very clear that their agenda is to stop people from voting. People in Pen Republican leaders in Pennsylvania have said that their new voter ID laws is to help Mitt Romney win. In Wisconsin, in heavily African American uh, districts, before the recall, they uh, reduced hours and shut down uh, free ID plans. While in the heavily Republican areas, they extended hours. In Ohio, they um, they originally tried to uh, restrict early voting hours in heavily African American districts, and in heavily conservative districts, they extended them. So it's pretty clear that this is a strategy. What I hope we do is raise awareness to people to understand that when they talk about protecting against voter fraud, they're really just putting up a smoke screen and it's really just an attempt to suppress people's votes to win the election. The voter suppression laws have really been promulgated by Republicans. This is something of their doing. And th this country is, is so so involved with so much internal struggles, one of them being voter suppression laws. And, you know, if, if you can't vote in this country, your voice is, is pretty much silenced to, to, to these um, to these legislatures, to these governors, to these politicians. And 
the fact that they target our communities, people of color, whether it be Hispanic, Black, whatever, um, you know, that that goes directly against our against, uh, against our existence. So here, here in Florida, the majority of the people who have been purged by Governor by Governor Rick Scott have been Hispanic folk. Mm -hmm. So you know, if you're persecuting our communities, if you're gonna take away our our ability to express ourselves. Um, in, in, in democracy, then we're going to hold you accountable for that and we're not going to let it go. That, that sign, that banner really represents uh, the motto of, of our campaign, One Family, One Alabama. I mean, that's exactly what we are. Um, we've come here to Florida to stand to stand with, with the communities of here in Florida that are suffering um, voter suppression laws and, and other things as well. No one is illegal. We're all people. We're all equal. No borders. No fences. No nations. No prisons. No deportations You should know it's a racist state A colonized genocidal corporate cage Only the privileged get through the gate And their so-called freedom is built by slaves Where the black sheep and the ghosts they escape The targets of anti-migrant hate Stop complaining about the jobs they take No living wage, exploited and underpaid To work the fields to put food on your plates Economic prisons where the inmates Scattered peoples, we are displaced Now we can't get caught, do whatever it takes Let's organize, mobilize, and make a jail break It's time to ride, freedom can't wait Human freight, moving the proletariat like the late great Taught me Harriet, property and law We're breaking it, got no patience left for this racist shit Break, break through the borders, disobey orders Obey police forces, light up the torches I'm one of those felons Gave 10 years of my life to the penal system. You know, I got custody of my children when I got out and sent two of them to college. And for the first time in my life, I voted four years ago. And now they're telling me I can't vote. Why? What? Say it again, dude. Voter suppression, right? Because nobody in their right mind who has done 10 years in prison it's gonna get out and ever vote Republican. So, <laughs> that's right, indeed. Because it's a whole different system in there. And if you don't understand that it continues out here, then you're gonna lose. And like life said, it's only a matter of time before it comes to a neighborhood near you. I am a formerly homeless mother of two children. And I bring you greetings. And I'm here today because I'm from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania has recently passed the most repressive, repressive laws saying that we need to have ID in order to vote. That means all the poor families, that means all the seniors, that means all the Latinos and African Americans and the poor whites in Pennsylvania. And this has got to change. I decided that I had to go into politics because I was tired. I was tired of trying to build a massive multiracial movement led by the poor in this country. And the only uh, choice we had is one corporate party in this country, the Democrats and the Republicans. Brothers and sisters, we have a responsibility right now to fight not only against this voter suppression, but against all form of oppression that we see. When we see that thing called police brutality, we have a right to stand and speak and speak against it. When we see housing discrimination, we have a right, not when it comes to our front door, but when it's happening to our neighborhoods that we even don't live in. It is our responsibility. Our dear sister Fannie Lou Hamer, in 1964 said, what kind of America will this be? Right now, the whole world is getting a chance to see the fear in America. It can see and witness what democracy don't look like here in this country. Because now, as we just try to exchange ideas, we're under surveillance constantly. And the surveillance that you're experiencing right now is the surveillance that we see in the African community every day. We got to end this stinking, foul, nasty system because we cannot go on like this. And we will do this by staying.
standing up and demanding justice for all. All, all, of the, all of the things that we feel we went out and spoke about and spoke to in the 60s are being brought up as new issues. And it, it seems like uh, we've been down this path before, and here we are again. Hi, everybody. I'm Felipe, and uh, I'm undocumented, unafraid. And also, I am queer and unashamed. We are your neighbors. We are the people who we work with. We are the people that you go to school with. with. And yet, we are denied several rights. So when Rick Scott came and said that 280,000, I'm going to say that number one more time, 280,000 people would be purged from a voter file. I remember thinking about the countless hours that I had to be like in the hot sun, in the hot floor of the sun, knocking at people's doors, asking them to come out to vote. And I remember all of their stories. And I remember that they could be in that list. And that's why I came here today. That's why we're gonna protest today. To raise up, the, uh, raise up awareness, but also to tell Rick Scott and all of the Republican leaders that are here right now, that we will not stand for this. That we've been denied our rights for too long, for too long, and we'll continue knocking at doors, and we'll continue registering voters. And come November, and come November, this is going to be a different state. Thank you so much. Fire by night, water by day, follow stars and suns, find your way to greener pastures and try to stay. Give love and respect to the lands and ways of the people who was there before you came, before imperialism brought all this pain. Decolonize the land, decolonize your brain and stop acting like a settler, that shit is lame. No one is illegal, we're all people, we're all equal. No borders, no fences, no nations. No prisons, no deportations No one is illegal We're all people, we're all equal No borders, no fences, no nations No prisons, no deportations